and this statue actually will have magic in it. I find it so weird that the fifth palace, the first palace, I can understand that it doesn't have magic in a statue because it's like the first one and you're not even going to need it really. But the fifth one, that's just the one that bugs me. It's like there should be something there, but there's not. This guy's in a little bit of a close quarter, so I think I'm just going to take him out like this. With our level 6 attack, it shouldn't take that long, I guess, but... Yeah, there you go. Alright, um... Yeah, I'll take this guy out too, I think. Am I actually hitting him? That's surprising. He was like slight... He was like at least two inches above my sword and I was still managing to hit him. That's hilarious. Anyway, so this sixth palace, I don't remember it as well as I do with most of the other palaces. Um, I remember it vaguely. I remember enough to get by, I think. This guy's gonna be a bit of a pain if I... Yeah, okay, he's gonna get in here. That's fine, though. You're gonna find yourself having to take bubbles out a lot like this, more than with the downward th thrust, generally. As, at least as far as I remember. God, why does this palace remind me of Majora's Mask? You know what it is? It's probably because I actually watched one of my... Well, I watched part of one of my Majora's Mask episodes uh, earlier today, because someone actually commented on it, saying, like... Some, they had, like, a time code in their comments, so I had to go check what it was. Mm, it was, like, the one where I was racing the beavers, too, though. So weird. Uh... I hate these guys. No, I'm not gonna let you get the best of me. What? What? Oh man. I wanted to get through here without taking a hit like I did in that one failed recording. Oh well. Maybe something spectacular can still happen in this palace. I don't know. I don't think there's actually anything over this way except for a pee bag or something. But I'm gonna check it out anyways, just because I don't totally remember. Well, I was right about the pee bag at least. All right, this guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. He always drops a. Uh, that fire on the third layer, unless, like, if there's something above the third layer there, like, it's hard to, what am I talking about by the third layer, like, the third layer down of these blocks, I don't know why he does that, I don't know, it's just, it's, I guess that's just the default layer or something, like, in the encryption, or whatever you want to call it, whatever, <laughs> look at those guys, they're just having a rave down there, man, See, now that I don't, now that I took my first hit, I don't even care about taking any more hits, because I'm gonna, not gonna get through here without taking a hit anyways. At least, at least hopefully I can get through here without dying, but even that, in this palace, that can be, especially the boss, the boss is really kind of a pain in the ass. You can die really easily to him, because there's pits in his room and everything, and it's just not a fun time all around. Alright, yeah, we got this guy to deal with, the Doom Knocker, whatever, the Doom Bringer. He's gonna bring doom if I'm not careful. I'm actually gonna cast life because I don't trust myself. And what about my furnace? That always happens, He's, especially in these Zelda 2 recordings. I don't know why but my furnace just loves to turn on and make that stupid background noise. I don't know why that is. If you want to, it, it looks like I was about to there, but you can actually knock this guy into the pit. You won't get the experience from him, obviously. And I kind of want the experience actually, so I'm gonna try and keep him away from there. You can keep him away by just kind of like backing off every so often. Uh, oh, damn me, he fell in the pit anyways. Whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure I actually want to cross here. There might be a magic up here too. I'm pretty sure that can be an iron knuckle too, so just watch out if you... Just be ready to jump out of the way if it is. And I can do this. Not bad. By the way, you might have noticed that the very first thing we ran into, like right off the bat in the sixth palace, was a locked door. I didn't really make note of that like I should have. But so if you don't have the Lion's Gate key, um, you're not gonna be able to pass that because you won't have a small key, obviously, from this dungeon. But there's a little bit of a trick that you can actually cast the fairy spell and fly through the lock. If you so you you technically don't need to pick up that magical key if you don't want to. It's just convenient. Like, there's no reason that you shouldn't unless you're doing some kind of, like, low ambitions run or something. Anyways, someone was actually, actually asking me a question on forum spring about this game. Like, could, do I think I could do a level 1 attack run of this game if I tried hard enough? I probably could. I just don't have enough time to practice it. I know that Tim can. I kind of want to see that again because that got taken off a screw attack. But, whatever. Dude, what? Why was I facing the wrong way there? Alright, uh, by the way, the pattern to these guys, you want to, like, jump over their first one, and they generally won't hit you. You just gotta kind of charge headlong into it. Headlong, you know, like, jack long. Oh, crap. Um, let's see if I... Dude, what are you doing? Just, just get out of here. Thank you. I forgot I could break the blocks for a second. That was so weird. 
I was like all blacking out for a second. These bubbles can be, get to be a bit of a pain in the ass, but I generally just like to avoid them, avoid them if I can. I think I need to jump over this way. Because I don't trust myself to make it across that gap like you can without the jump spell, but... Alright, this room. I remember this room very fondly. I, ind I do indeed. And many of you who've played this game before will know why. Because there's going to be a hole in this room. Like, an invisible hole in the floor. And it's going to be, uh... Ooh, that's actually really convenient. Uh, Alright, so you're going to want to make sure that you have the jump spell, which I don't. For some reason, I thought I did. Yeah, make sure you have the jump spell. And this is the second statue. After the third statue, this one. The two blocks after it, which, so I'm basically standing on the last solid block right here. In fact, you're going to see uh, his thing fall. Yeah, did you see it fall through the floor there? Yeah, so the four blocks after that last solid block, those are all the hole. So I'm going to wait for this guy to pass first, actually, so he doesn't knock me out of the air or something stupid. Oh, crap. Will these guys just get out of my way? All right, and jump like that, and... Thank you. I was afraid I was going to be knocked the wrong way by that fire, but thankfully I wasn't. If you fall down that hole, basically, uh, well, I'm actually going to fall down that hole on the way back, because it's actually probably the faster way of getting through. Oh yeah, we have the mini-bosses in here, that's right, I think there's either two or three of these guys. All of them are the same as the third boss, or the boss of the third palace. He's not even any stronger, basically, it's like, he's actually going to be a lot easier here, because you have such a massive amount of attack now. So he's probably not going to take that many hits. He actually takes a lot less hits than a normal blue iron knuckle. He just attacks more frequently is what I've noticed. Uh, what am I doing? And he also tends to go off the screen a lot because the screen doesn't scroll with him, which is a pain in the ass, but I can take it. All right, maybe two more hits and he should be done for. Uh, yeah, I think that's a safe bet. Well, now one more hit, I mean, but you know what I meant. Jeez. All right, there we go. Man, he actually almost caused my death there. What do you know? Oh man, attack level up. Not bad. Kind of would have preferred a life level up, but I'm already at, at max life, so I don't know why I was expecting that. And that key is moot point, but whatever. Pick it up anyhow. And here is where you get your cross, which will allow you to see invisible enemies. The cross has always been kind of a bittersweet item to me, because, like, it lets you see invisible enemies, but me being the curious bugger that I am, I'd like to know what the invisible enemies actually are, but now that you can see them, you don't know what they are anymore, so really any enemy could be invisible, and you wouldn't even know it. And that just irks me a little bit. I don't know why. I'm not gonna cast Reflect, I'm gonna, not gonna bother, because I'm probably not even gonna get up to, what do we need, 6,500 experience? No, just 6,000. To get to the next, I'm probably not gonna get that, that by the end of the palace. In fact, I can pretty much guarantee it. Uh, I don't want to cast the jump spell here. Can I please just get over the wall? Link, can you please? Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm faced by a red iron knuckle, of all things. Still facing these. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's actually still some orange iron knuckles that we're going to face here later on, so... Don't be shocked if you do. You know what I've noticed, too, is that... Something I actually didn't really notice much throughout this game, or throughout any of my other playthroughs of this game, is that with each palace, the enemies seem to get stronger. Like, they take more hits or something, or and sometimes they do more damage, too. Because I remember in the fifth palace, I was taking out those blue skeleton guys, like, in one hit. And when I faced one earlier, here, I'll show you. I'll, I'm going to face this one, actually. And I'll probably take him out in... Yeah, see, he takes, he still takes at least two hits. And I'm pretty sure we fought one before that, and he took three hits, so... I don't know, something about that, that's just... I thought that only happened with the Great Palace, I thought only the enemies in the Great Palace were stronger, but apparently it just, it's... it's valid for all palaces or something. Oh man, he appeared right on top of me! God, I'm so dead here. What?! How did he hit through my shield? I guess I was just too close and he was actually shooting from behind my shield, but, but in front of me. What are the odds? Alright, I gotta be really careful here, otherwise I'm gonna die. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's one of those blue doom knockers at the top of this, so I'm probably going to die anyways, but... We can hope, can't we? Yeah, look at this. How am I going to get through here? Oh, this reminds me of uh, the Boomerang Brothers or something. I'm going to cast Shield, even though I don't think it's going to make a difference in the grand scheme of things. Um... Okay, I actually made it to here without dying. That's kind of amazing to me. How do I want to go about this, though? 
I could go kill him and hope that he drops like a red magic jar, but I don't think he actually can drop a red magic jar. I think I'm just gonna jump out of here actually. And just hope for the best. I know there's bubbles in this room coming though, so. Did I kill that bubble before? I don't remember. Okay, oh no, I didn't. Just get out of the way. Alright. I'm all tense now. Oh shit. And there's whiz robes in here and everything. Um. Am I even supposed to be going this way? I can't even remember really. Shit. Alright, this is gonna be really precarious. I just wanna see how far I can. I know I'm eventually, inevitably gonna die, but I just wanna see how far I can get without dying. Alright, not bad. Ah, uh, these guys are gonna become a problem now, aren't they? Yeah, they certainly are. They certainly are! What? Cra oh god. What? No, I man, I, I thought it was dead with that first hit, but oh crap. Well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. At least I now I can go through here without being so tense all the time. Man, that was fun, though. I really like those situations where you're just down to your bare bones, and you just have to kind of rely on your ability to maneuver a D-pad to get through. It's just so much fun. Like, you can rarely, rarely last for, like, more than five minutes. On the off chance, you might actually be able to win, but <laughs> that's very rare, especially in my case, where I suck at the game. I think I actually, I think you actually want to keep falling down here, if I'm not mistaken. Because we've got the item of this palace, we really all we really need to do now is go place the crystal in the statue, so. And this looks vaguely familiar, so I think I am going the correct direction. Why did that hit me? Oh, well, it hit me because I wasn't blocking it. That's natural, isn't it? That's natural in these games, you would think anyways. By this point, by the final, like, real palace. Before Ganon's place, or... Well, I, I don't want to say Ganon's place, because you don't, you don't actually ever fight Ganon in this game. As you might have guessed by now. Oh, there we go. Sometimes you can knock him off screen and he'll like it'll act like knocking him into a pit. All right, this room I, I kind of like to catch the jump spell myself here, because uh, you've got these Medusa head guys that could very easily knock you into the pit if you're not careful. So that's what I like to do. I'm also going to pick this up because we're coming up on an area where you actually need a lot of magic to get through. You're going to need to cast the fairy spell, I think, twice in order to get through here. So you've really got to have a lot of magic because the fairy spell is actually one of the more expensive spells. So be careful there. Uh, in fact, you know, I'm not even going to cast reflect just just because I want to preserve my magic here. This could be a bit of a mistake because I've got wizards. What's that noise? Did, was that just me? I heard like a bell or something. That might have actually been in real life, like upstairs or something. Oh, that might have been the oven going off. I didn't even think. I don't think it was though. My oven doesn't sound quite like that. All right. So you, yeah, you want to cast a fairy spell to get through here, and uh, because yeah, as you can see, there's pretty much no chance of you getting through otherwise. Damn it. But you got to be careful here too, because there's no way to defend yourself as a fairy. So you really got to kind of play a game of all-range Pac-Man, I guess, in order to get through. 